My name is Mahmoor Essen. I am an international student from Pakistan. I arrived in the States about a year ago and I'm a sophomore now, but I was not really expecting to start researching and working on something as big as cancer research and be a part of such a big movement within my first year of being here. At UCO, we really encourage uh, undergraduate research. It's a very good place for undergraduate research is an opportunity that you will not find very often in other places. This was just supposed to be like a summer internship or an opportunity, but I met Dr. Hendrickson. She was amazing. She was such an inspiration to me because I know that research is what I wanted to do personally. And I look at her and I see the drive and the passion that she has. I've learned a lot from her. When I met Mahnur, she reminded me of my student time. I met an ambitious woman that wants to build her future. I saw her interest and hard work. She's also very curious. And you know, all of those are very good qualities in a researcher. Dandelion root is supposed to be a gentler form of treatment for cancer compared to chemotherapy and that's kind of what we're monitoring. The story behind this research is um, there was a Kurdish man from Iraqi Kurdistan who was a terminal cancer patient. And someone told him, why don't you try dandelion? He tried dandelion and now he's cancer free. You see documentaries on researchers and all these big scientists like Madame Curie, um, all these people who actually just put their lives on hold and just focus on this one cause and just change the course of history. And this is kind of what this research feels like. I'm interested in giving opportunities to young women, especially from those cultures that don't provide as many as opportunities that you can find here in the United States. We once got here and we had like this straight run in the lab for seven hours. So I was here, she was here, the entire lab was like empty and we just had this one big run of experiments and then that same week we got the results for that experiment. They were so good and it just felt so good to have worked and like leave everything and just given in that time into something and then we saw the results, we were just so happy. It was just that sense of achievement was definitely the biggest highlight. Ahnu reminded me of uh, many things like if a woman from a third world country has big dreams and she want to do it, she can do it and that's really important. Every time I saw her working hard, uh, it reminded me that we are capable of achieving our dreams and doing great things. We can do it. I would definitely say that don't be discouraged or don't fear the fact that you have to go, especially for international students, uh, considering I'm one too. Don't be afraid of what there is, like the opportunities in this country are just so endless. And when I came here, what I was told was networking, number one, talking to people, socializing with people and just proving that you're driven and you're hardworking will get you so far over here. Your hard work is actually gonna pay off and UCO is just so welcoming. The people here, they will help you in every way they can. The professors here, they will guide you towards your future incentives because that's exactly what I did. I wouldn't even have met Dr. Hendrickson had I not approached my professor and I just talked to her and the rest is just free. I would like to say something to international students. If you like to come to the United States, Come to our university, you're welcome here. We really welcome you for the research, give you opportunities for undergraduate research. And also uh, you can find other opportunities uh, for promoting your culture and um, enjoy life here. Personally, I'm an immigrant. I met really accepting people here in an accepting environment. And as a woman and as an immigrant, these are really important. Welcome to UCO.